हेलो चिल्ड्रेन होप ऑल आर फाइन एंड हेल्थी माई सेल्फ कोकिला भाटिया टीचिंग मैथ्स फॉर स्टैंडर्ड सेवेंथ इन सेठ विद्या मंदिर इंग्लिश हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज वेलकम यू ऑल लेट्स कंटिन्यू विथ लेसन नंबर फाइव ऑपरेशन ऑन रैशनल नंबर्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एंड डिस्कस द रूल्स फॉर मल्टीप्लाइंग एंड डिवाइडिंग a decimal fraction now children when a decimal fraction is multiplied by 10 100000 and so on the decimal point is shifted to the right by 1 2 3 and so on places respectively for example 0.236 multiplied by 10 so 10 has got one zero so you are going to shift one place towards your rights which is 2.36 the second example is 0.236 multiplied by 100 now 100 has got two zeros so you are going to shift two places towards your right so you that is 23.6 and the third example is 0.236 multiplied by 1000 here you have got three zeros so you are going to shift three places towards your right which is equal to 236 now when a decimal fraction is divided by 10 100 1000 and so on the decimal point is shifted to the left by 1 2 3 and so on places respectively for example 0.236 divided by 10 which is equal to 0.0236 the second example 0.236 divided by 100 which is equal to 0.00236 and the third example is 0.236 divided by 1000 is equal to 0.00236 Six. So, children, you have to remember when you are multiplying it by ten hundred thousand, you are, you are going to shift the decimal point towards your right, and when you are dividing, the decimal point has to be shifted to the left. Now, any number of zeros after the last digit of the decimal fraction or before the integral part do not change the value of the given fraction for example 31.5 is equal to 31.50 equal to 31.500 etc or 31.5 is equal to 031.5 is equal to 0031.5 etc so children any number of zeros after the last digit of the decimal fraction or before the integral part do not change the value of the given fraction decimal form of rational numbers now when in decimal form of rational numbers we have obtained zero as the remainder it is called the terminating decimal form and when a single digit or a group of digits occur repeatedly on the right of the decimal point the type of decimal form of rational number is called the recurring decimal form let's solve practice set 24 write the following rational numbers in decimal form the first sum is 13 divided by 4 now your children Divide thirteen by four, so four three is a twelve. So the quotient is three and the remainder is one. Now place the decimal point after the integer three. Write the zero from the dividend after the remainder one and divide ten by four. Then four two is a eight. So your quotient is two after the decimal point and your remainder is two. Again, write zero from the dividend after the remainder zero and divide twenty by four. So four five is a twenty. Now your remainder is zero. 
So as we have obtained 0 as the remainder, this type of decimal form of rational number is called the terminating decimal form. So we can say 1 is the remainder after dividing 13 by 4. Then we placed a decimal point after the integer, writing the 0 from the dividend after the remainder 1 and we have divided 10 by 4 and the quotient we get now is fractional. We write 2 after the decimal point. Again, we bring down the next 0 from the dividend and complete the division. Now the second sum, minus 7 upon 8. So you are going to divide minus 7 by 8. The quotient is 0 as 7 cannot be divided by 8. So 8 zeros are 0 and the remainder is 7. Now place a decimal point after the after 0 and write the 0 from the dividend after the remainder 7. Now you are going to divide 70 by 8. So 8 eights are 64. So write the quotient 8 after the decimal point and the remainder is 6. Again write 0 from the dividend after the remainder 6 and divide 60 by 8. So 8 sevens are 56 and now your remainder is 4. Again write, write 0 from the dividend after the remainder 4 and divide 40 by 8. 8 fives are 40. So now the remainder is 0. And so as we have obtained 0 as the remainder, this type of decimal form of rational number is called terminating decimal form. So, in your answer, as you have got a negative sign, your answer will be minus 0 0.875. The third sum, 7, 3 upon 5. Now, your children, you can divide 3 by 5, where your quotient is 0 as 3 cannot be divided by 5. So, 5 multiplied by 0 is 0 and the remainder is 3. Now place a decimal point after 0 and also write 0 from the dividend after the remainder 3. Now divide 30 by 5. 5, 6 are 30. So write the quotient 6 after the decimal point and now the remainder is 0. Then add 7 to 0 0.6 where you will get the answer as 7.6. There is also one another method which you can follow that is 7 3 upon 5 you can also first convert this mixed fraction to a fraction by multiplying 5 to 7 and then adding 3 to it and then after getting the fraction 38 upon 5 divide it then also you are going to get the same answer that is 7.6 fourth sum Divide 5 by 12. Now here the quotient is 0 as 5 cannot be divided by 12. So 12 zeros are 0 and the remainder is 5. Now place a decimal point after the integer 0 and also write 0 from the dividend after the remainder 5 and divide 50 by 12. So 12 fours are 48. As write the quotient 4 after the decimal point and after subtracting the remainder is 2. Again write 0 from the dividend after the remainder 2 and divide 20 by 12. So 12 ones are 12 and now the remainder is 8. Again write 0 from the dividend after the remainder 8 and divide 80 by 12 and now your remainder is 8. Write again write 0 from the dividend after the remainder 8 and divide 80 by 12. Again you got remainder as 8. So now here children you will see that the division does not end. Here a single digit occurs repeatedly on the right of the decimal point. This type of decimal form of rational number is called the recurring decimal form. So if in a decimal fraction, a single digit occurs repeatedly on the right of the decimal point. We put a point above it. 
as shown here and if a group of digits occur repeatedly we show it with a horizontal line the fifth sum 22 upon 7 now here we have to divide 22 by 7 so the question here is 3 as we can divide 22 by 7 by writing 7 threes are 21 and the remainder is 1 now place a decimal point after the integer 3 and write 0 from the dividend after the remainder 1 and divide 10 by 7 so 7 ones are 7 so write the question 1 after the decimal point and your remainder will be 3 and again write 0 from the dividend after the remainder 3 and divide 30 by 7 7 fours are 28 so year after subtracting 28 from 30 your remainder will be 2 so again write 0 from the dividend after the remainder 2 and divide 20 by 7 so 7 twos are 14 so in the question you are going to write 2 and the remainder is 6 again write 0 from the dividend after the remainder 6 and divide 60 by 7 so 7 eights are 56 so again the remainder is 4 now write 0 from the dividend after the remainder 4 and divide 40 by 7 7 fives are 35 so now your remainder is 5 write 0 from the dividend after the remainder 5 and divide 50 by 7 and 7 sevens are 49 and now your remainder is 1 so now you can see that there will be repetition after writing a uh, uh, writing zero from the dividend so we can say a group of digits when it occur repeatedly we have to show it with a horizontal lines therefore 22 upon 7 is equal to 3.142857 and your horizontal line starts from one because it's re repeating 142857 as and the last you got the remainder as 1 so again if you add 0 to it it will again come 7 ones are 7 then the remainder will be 3 uh, and you'll add 0 to it it will become 30 so again you will divide it by 7 7 fours are 28 so it will be repeated so we are putting a horizontal line on 142857 the sixth sum 4 divided by 3 now here you can divide 4 by 3 so your question is 1 that is 3 ones are 3 and after subtracting 3 from 4 your remainder is 1 so now place the decimal point after the integer 1 and write 0 from the dividend after the remainder 1 and divide 10 by 3 3 threes are 9 so write the question 3 after the decimal point and now again the remainder is 1 so here again you can see children that uh, the division does not end here again a single digit occurs repeatedly on the right of the decimal point so this type of decimal form of rational number is called the recurring decimal form so, and Uh, as a single digit is occurring repeatedly on the right of the decimal point we are going to put a point above it as shown here so your answer 2 4 upon 3 is equal to 1.3 recurring the last sum of this practice set 7 upon 9 now your children you are going to divide 7 by 9 and the quotient that you are going to write is 0 as 7 cannot be divided by 9 so 9 zeros are 0 and the remainder is 7 now you have to place a decimal point after the integer 0 and write 0 from the dividend after the remainder 7 and divide 70 by 9 so 9 sevens are 63 so after subtracting 63 from 70 you get 7 as the remainder so again 
if again uh, you are going to write 0 from the dividend after the remainder 7 and you are going to divide 70 by 9 so 9 sevens are 63 so again after subtracting 63 from 70 you are getting remainder as 7 so here again we can see that the division does not end and a single digit is occurring again and again on the right of the decimal point so 7 upon 9 is equal to 0 0.7 recurring with this i complete with practice set 24 hope children you have understood i'll continue with this chapter in my next session thank you and god bless